。以色列坦克大军直接在加沙边境，来采访了英国天空新闻资深记者，也被震撼到。Middle Eastern wars for getting on for two decades. I've never seen this amount of heavy armor, Israeli heavy armor. Here they're quite happy for us to film, and clearly this is a deliberate show. 值得注意的却是，在这批军车中，还有号称以色列的先锋部队第一九重型装甲推土机的身影。I've counted at least 40 Israeli tanks, but there are two columns of them stretching well beyond the horizons. Also, armored personnel carriers、um, and D9 bulldozers. 马斯等巴勒斯坦激进组织民兵，通常将爆炸装置藏在人口稠密地区，恐怕会是以军地面战最致命的威胁。The D9 is an armored bulldozer capable of detonating IEDs and hidden landmines. The D9 safely disarms these threats, allowing our forces to operate in a more precise and accurate way. D9 推土机有够厚的装甲来保护周边部队安危。其实除了以色列，哈马斯也已被迫对抗以色列入侵的武器。Based on their training, best in how. They operate them. They are successful with them. 毕竟哈马斯的目的是制造混乱。Hamas used paragliders to cross the Gaza border. The recreational vehicles are barely maneuverable and easy to target in the air. But in the chaos of the moment, the plan worked. 美国专家怀疑哈马斯可能还没亮出底牌。We know Hamas has other weapons. We have seen them use anti-tank or anti-armor missiles in the past, and it's weapons like that that make an Israeli ground incursion such a difficult proposition. 哈马斯周六就是利用长城和短程火箭弹饱和攻击，让以色列铁穹应接不暇。专家也担心哈马斯甚至可能攻击商用客机，也成了以色列南方的强敌。TVB 新闻这么报道。想看最完整的新闻内容，记得下载 TVBS 新闻网 APP。